Good morning, Endeavor. Hey, good morning, Tom. Sorry, good morning, Carl. Oh, that's better. Thank nice you. Nice music selection. We'll try to uh, go out and live up to it. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you will. And could you get the tips on if you're downstairs, please? Roger that. And Endeavour, we're on board the mid-deck. Thank you. Endeavour Houston, one minute till a Tedris handover, and I have the SFU thermal bailout attitude when you're ready to copy. Target four, 
Body vector 5, pitch 1-4, yaw 0, Omicron 270. Target 4, body vector 5, pitch 014, yaw 0, Omicron 270. Good copy, and I've got an adjustment to that after the handover. Hello, Koichi. Endeavor Houston for EV. Leroy, we see you coming out. Like nice 90 seconds to the Looks ZOE. Beautiful. Okay, coming out, Winston. Endeavor will get you back at 2009. 10 minutes of Radicom off the tail when we come back. I'll give you some slack here, Leroy. Okay. How am I doing, Dan? You're doing fine. I'm just coming out. Endeavor, one minute to the ZOE. Get you back at 2009. Ten minutes of calm off the tail when we come back on the west. Yeah, I'll do that as soon as Dan's clear. And just a second, I'm going to get my tethers set properly. Deborah Houston for Dan, you're over Australia. Well, thanks, Tom. It's an incredible sight. I'm envious. Remember, the, uh, the pin is inverted to your point of view, right? I know, Dan. I'm, 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 in, I'm voted. I'm just seeing the roll being like 180 degrees off. That looks good. Don't worry. Okay. What's it's supposed to be. Okay, you're about three more inches, you'll be dead center. Three more inches forward. Another inch. And you're dead center. You just come 
straight in into sector mode. I did it, Tarbot Island. No. Okay, you're about four inches. Hey, I can put it in from here if you want to roll it around. Okay, uh, Dan, we're in the roll's exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm going to go, when you give me a go, I'm going to go for capture. But, Fred, I'm showing the, the, um... Dan, the camera's right where it's supposed to be. I'm showing the, um... The, the parts of the, um... End effector that go into the, uh... That go into the, um... Outside pieces, the three pieces each at 120 degrees to each other. Yeah. I'm showing that off by 180 degrees. What Dan's saying there that... Okay, we have a great view, Brian. Thanks. Endeavor, Brent, uh, PDRS is looking at this. Just one moment. Hey, we're standing by. Hey, let me know when we're go for uh, capture. You go for capture. I saw a good capture. I saw the snares grab it nicely. Okay, uh, I got good capture, Dan. Let me know when you go for rigid. You go for rigid. Here comes rigid. I'm waiting. I see it rigidizing. We've got rigid. Great, fantastic. Good job, guys. Okay, now, uh, Brent, if you could uh, come uh, straight toward me a little bit. Stand by, Dan. I'm waiting for the rigid talk back. Okay, I'm sorry. And, um... Okay. Winston, if you could tell me again, um... Uh, where to hook the tether to, um... Which end of the end effector to hook the tether to? Okay, Dan, you're going to hook the, uh... Hook that to the uh, yellow end of the end effector. Okay. Okay, Dan, move it down towards you. Okay, uh, stand by just one second, but okay. I have to, because, because of the reconfig, I have to move Leroy's tether from uh, where it was to uh, the other side, so stand by. All right, we need to remember to rotate it back for storage. Okay, you're looking good. Both feet are, uh, your right foot is almost there. Right foot's in the, in the loop. You need your heel to move. There you go, your left's in. Your right, your right isn't quite in. There, now your right's in. What a sunrise, look at that. But you know what, Leroy? Your right is above the, uh, you know how that angle is? Okay, let me try again, how's that? Now you're in properly, and your right, and your left is in beautifully. Right. Okay, you're looking good from in here, Leroy. Then okay. verify again that you uh, temporarily attached uh, Leroy's slide while safety to the lunge run. Uh, negative, uh, Winston, I'm gonna do that after I hook him up so I don't have to go back and forth twice. Okay, and I can see you out of the window now. Okay, that works super. Okay, access and operate the PFRWS picture controls. Hey, and Winston, I'm heading over to the, um, RU. Okay, Dan. Okay, pitch control works. And I might make a pass by those windows. From my right. We're watching. Okay, Winston, pitch control works fine. Okay, Leroy, you want to access the number at the PFR that you have tool head spindle. Tool head spindle works fine. Looks good. Nice and uh, smooth action. Okay, access and operate the yaw control to position the PFRWS around the APFR. Okay, and uh, that works fine. The general comment on the workstation station, the, <clears throat> the handles are a little low. Well, they're fine for me, but someone tall, taller would, uh, might be a bit of a stretch. But I've had that problem in the wet up, so we'll see what happens. Well, Lee, I guess that's mostly office, right? Dan, look at the look at the earth there. Watch the thermal cube. Yeah, I know I'm underneath it. What were you saying? 
Take a look over the sill if you can. Oh my goodness. That looks good. Yep. They're coming back in plane. Oh, I've got it. Came off real easy. Hold on. I've got it. Hold on. I've got it. Okay. I got it. Okay, it's entirely yours now. I got it. Okay. Okay, Brent, come on up out of the bay. Endeavor Houston on air to ground two for the flight deck. Hey, Leroy, moving up and out of the bay. Well, we will. I don't think that'll be a big problem. So I'm going to go uh, to the other end and continue. Endeavor Houston on the west. I've got some fast actions for the flight deck. Brent, keep coming down. Well, you know what? I'm going to say it's a flat alignment mark. Unless you all can see that from the window. For the flight deck, we'd like the supply water dump using FES on 5 9 er using FES B. Okay. It's coming down. Okay, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. You're at it. You're at the latch. Okay, it's latched. Okay. You can see how badly the uh, yeah, cables are bound up. Cables are bound up, yeah. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to take a picture of that for the ground. I need to swing this uh, PFRWS around. Moving up out of the Bailey Roy. Right? Roger. We'll just have to see if my slide wire is long enough to uh, to do this maneuver. If not, I'll have to come around the forwards and we'll just have to watch out uh, for uh, getting tied up against each other. Watch. Endeavor Houston, no action on the uh, PDRS slip. That's due to the ingress uh, from Dan. Okay, we copy. Thanks, Tom. Endeavor for the flight deck, did you call on Interground 2? Is uh, to evaluate the APFR yaw and roll by using your waist tether. Okay. Uh, I've continued to use the, uh, the yaw. Worst extension is that the Actuator, pitch and yaw actuators are uh, too low. Need to be up higher. Okay. Endeavor Houston on air to ground two. Uh, Brian, can you come up there? Right. Okay, I copy that, Dan.
Okay, I've uh, completed the, uh, com the evaluation of the yaw, and uh, now I'm getting ready to move on to the evaluation of the roll. And uh, pretty spectacular here up over the bay, looking down on the shuttle and the earth below. Copy, Dan. Thank you, left from in here, Dan. The coordination of the, uh, the yaw and the up and down is working out great. Endeavor, Houston Air to Ground 2, uh, we're 90 seconds from the ZOE, get you back at 23.21. Yeah, EV-1 is feeling great. I uh, have not had to use the glove heaters, and I've been adjusting my thermal setting somewhere around, you know, 6. So uh, no problem with the heat loads, or cool loads. That's also true for uh, EV-2. I've not used the thermal gloves, and I'm feeling just as comfortable as could be. The temperature is just right. There was one point um, when uh, my feet were getting a little cold, but I just went all the way to LCDG bypass, and uh, even in the nighttime, with a little bit of activity, my feet uh, warmed right up. So I'm feeling great. Now you two are looking great, too. Thanks a lot for the report. You bet. Sure thing. Okay, roll towards me, Dan, a little bit. Roll towards me. I'm, I'm on your left. Okay, complete. Okay, remove umbilical caddy from the sidewall carrier, and you're going to do that by removing the tip pin from the lat channel and temporarily stow. Then you'll release the lat. That's a good plan. Okay. Hey. So what's my next step? Thanks, Dory. Okay, Dan. Uh, you want to unclamp the gang clamp securing the avionics line? Yeah, that's complete. Unclamp the three individual line clamps securing the avionics line. Okay.
Okay, I'm inside, Winston. Okay, the next step is for uh, EB1, set your water to off, and EB2, set your water to off. Okay. Water's off. Okay, water's water's off. Okay, copy. And I got my message. Okay, both uh, water switches are off. Leroy, you can close the thermal cover, close and lock the outer hatch. And uh, if you would, you could perform the ECC operation check. Okay. And that's simply to verify that the display is readable. I'm showing that um, on my PET timer, we're a little over six hours. Okay, and verify the touch screen is responsive. And